Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I'm just continuing the series and the question is, prolactin, is it a friend or is it a foe? It's a foe because what happens if you, if a male has high prolactin levels due to hyperthyroid, due to pituitary tumors, certain medications, what it does is that the high prolactin, le prolactin levels will decrease the function of the production of testosterone. In addition, intercourse, orgasm. When a male has an orgasm with intercourse, it's going to skyrocket prolactin levels to up to 400% versus a man who just masturbates on his own. Because the increase of prolactin levels after the orgasm with intercourse, this is where you, what's called the, the post-refractory period. This is where the guy is just cashed out and just wants to relax. In addition, oxytocin. Oxytocin is that cuddle hormone. It's that bonding hormone. But the problem is, again, when a man is around his mate too long, yes, the oxytocin levels will increase, which will spill over on the prolactin levels. And that will increase, which will decrease testosterone and dopamine. So watch the video and I'll show you how. Hi there, I'm Dr. Juwad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual healthcare plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues. I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15 minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face to face or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. All right, Dr. Jawad here. I'm just continuing the series about prolactin, friend or foe. If you haven't done so already, three things. Please hit the subscribe button down below, the like button, and the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be notified. Also, leave a comment down below. I always read the comments. I, always, I usually answer the questions the best way I can. So I appreciate any type of feedback on any of my videos that I'm doing. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I am continuing my series on sex hormones and how prolactin, friend or foe, affects testosterone levels and dopamine levels on males. Because with prolactin, prolactin has a different function amongst males than it does with females. Prolactin with females, which pairs up with oxytocin, stimulates the mammillary glands to produce milk while she's breastfeeding. So prolactin for a female, it's actually pretty, it's, it has a benefit. High prolactin levels in a male really has no benefit whatsoever because when you have high prolactin levels, it lowers your testosterone and your dopamine. Now, in the previous video, I was talking about the mechanism about the hypothalamic gonadal access. When it, everything starts at the brain, you have the hypothalamus, which releases the gonadotropic, I'm sorry, gonadotropin releasing hormone, signals to the anterior pituitary gland to send a signal out, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Throughout the bloodstream, it acts on the testes. Now, with the testes, there are two types of cells. You have your Leydig cells, which triggers the release of testosterone, and you have your Sertoli cells, which releases androgen binding proteins. Now, the testosterone and the androgen binding proteins, they bind together to produce spermatogenesis in the testicles, which is the, which is the formation of the immature sperm to the mature sperm to be released when it matures in the epididymis. Now, with, with this system, what happens? Prolactin, now remember, with every ejaculation, it increases the, pro the prolactin levels. Why? Because the increase pro in prolactin levels gives the male body the post-refractory period. After ejaculation, this is the hormone that's released to calm him down, to be not interested in sex and just chill. So with prolactin, it regulates the synthesis, release, and turnover of dopamine in the hypothalamic neurons. In addition, it, the function, it lowers the levels of sex hormones produced during intercourse and also to ejaculation and is responsible for sexual gratification. So this is where after, this is the drive that men want after ejaculation because their prolactin is just refreshing. The problem is the prolactin level increases, it lowers dopamine and it still stays elevated for up to about seven, seven to 10 days.
So it can be your good friend or your worst enemy. Now, the, it could be your worst enemy because if you have a condition of elevated prolactin levels called hyperprolactinemia, this is not good because, remember, increased prolactin lowers dopamine. We need dopamine, that's our drive, that's our motivation, that, that allows us to relax, to sleep. And dopamine feeds into the adrenal system, which is the adrenaline, norepinephrine and epinephrine. So some of the causes of hyperprolactemia is hypothyroidism, because that plays a big part on the thyrotropin releasing hormone, which increases the prolactin release. Pituitary tumors, Yes, some pituitary tumors, prolactin secreting pituitary adenomas, that is going to affect the pituitary gland, so it's going to increase the prolactin levels. In addition, medications. Medications, antipsychotics, any type of dopamine receptor blockers, that's going to increase prolactin levels. In addition to tricyclic anti antidepressants, SSRIs, <laughs> antidepressants, a little background about antidepressants is they give antidepressants for men who have premature ejaculation. Why? Because remember, it's the dopamine that drives for the ejaculation. So if you give a man antidepressants, it sustains the release of the ejaculation so he's not a, a minute man. The problem is sustained use of antidepressants, what does it do? It increases prolactin levels which means that he's not even gonna finish the race, or it may take him a long time to finish the race, if you know what I mean. And his partner is just gonna be like, well, you know, it's gonna take you an hour to finish this race, which before, it took you two minutes. So that's kinda of like how antidepressants work on the system, as well as opiates and some antihypertensives. When, we, when you have increased prolactin levels, it's right here, increased prolactin levels, inhibits the release of gonadotropin releasing hormone. So that's step one. Step two is if you, if you, if you inhibit the release, inhibit the release means just stop in the release. It puts, a, it puts a door stop in there. So the hypothalamus is not gonna release gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is going to inhibit the anterior pituitary gland from releasing luteinizing hormone. You need luteinizing hormone to act on the testes in the Leydig cells to produce testosterone. So when you have increased prolactin, increased prolactin is going to lower gonadotropin releasing hormone, which in turn will lower the luteinizing hormone, which will lower the production of testosterone. And that's how it works. So the goal is increased dopamine. Now there's other causes of increased prolactin. For the listeners out there who are not on any medications, they're not hypothyroid, they don't have any tumors, no it's not a tumor. Then how are they increasing their prolactin levels? Watch in the next video. All right, thank you for watching the video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. In addition, if you find that this information is valuable and if you want a free 15-minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It'll take you to my website. Again, we could talk either face-to-face, -face, on Zoom, or on a phone call. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.